I am learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? I had a very typical day today. I started it out by wrapping some books that I had sold on eBay and bringing them to the post office. Now, a little pro tip for those of you who are interested in online selling. Amazon really is the better marketplace for used books if you're only selling single copies. But in this case, what I did was I had multiple copies of the same book. So I put them together as one lot and sold them on eBay, which you can do. You can't do that on Amazon. It made it meant that I made less money per book, but I got rid of them right away. Sometimes on Amazon, it takes months to sell a number of copies. In this case, I just sold them all at once. And it, so that made a lot more sense to me. After I got done with that, I made some calls to prospective real estate clients. You know, that stuff is long term. I'm sending them some listings. Maybe some of them will turn into purchases. I don't know. And then in the afternoon, I spent the uh, hours editing. So it was really working on three different gigs today. And uh, that seems to be what I do almost every day. But I had something interesting happen the other day that was a little out of the ordinary that I wanted to share with you. As you know, I help run some public speaking workshops at companies. And this marketing agency found out about that. And they called me. They wanted me to be a source for a column they write about career coaching. And it's in a magazine. It'll come out in June. And I'm not used to being the interviewee. I'm usually the interviewer as a journalist. So when they contacted me and they said they wanted to interview me about uh, why it's important for an employee to learn to speak effectively with the bosses, I felt I had to get prepared. And this is how I did it. I sat down ahead of time and I just thought of any questions that they might have asked me, you know, just any kind of random things. And I sort of word played them. I put them together some answers, made sure I knew what I was going to talk about when they called. And then what I did was I went to Google and I just looked up news about public speaking and companies. Because what I didn't want is I didn't want some breaking news the day before they called me to have happen, me miss it, and them ask me about it. And I don't know what I'm talking about. So that's what I did. And I thought to myself, you know, that's probably a good practice no matter what you're doing. You know, the idea that you should really think about how you would explain your work, what you're passionate about, what you do to somebody who calls and asks questions and to be able to provide some examples of what you do in case somebody asked. And it's a great way to think about it how you handle your professional life. I wonder, does anybody do that? Do you guys do that? Have you guys been in a situation where you know you're going to get interviewed about something that you're, you do in your work life, and so you've prepared ahead of time about how to explain it to people? It's actually a very interesting exercise because you start to realize what the importance of what you do is and where the value is and what you want people to take away. And in fact, during the interview, she asked me a few questions that I wasn't really 100% prepared for. But at the end, she said, is there anything else you want to add? And that's when I took out all of the stories and all of the value that I had in my pocket. And I poured it out uh, to her because I really wanted people to take away certain things that I felt very strongly about. And I would not have been able to do that if I hadn't prepared ahead of time. So that's something to think about. Do you ever do that? Do you ever really say, how can I explain what I do in the most effective way possible. If you do that, let me know down below if there's any details you can give me any hints or techniques because I'd really like to learn to get better at it. I think I did a good job and I'm looking forward to the column, but uh, you can always do better, right? Anyway, if you like this uh, video, please hit the like button. YouTube really wants feedback on that and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. and. Talk to you next week. Bye.